A single leg bodyweight glute bridge is going to work on just one glute at a time rather than working on both. Most people say that they don't feel this in their glutes when they first start, but the more you master the position and the movement, you'll be able to contract the glutes throughout the entire range of motion, and it will be a very challenging exercise. So you're going to lay on your back. Um, when you set up your feet, you're going to have them actually in close to the midline in this case, um, because you're only working one leg at a time. If you put it out to the side, you'll probably fall over. Okay, so feet are going to be in, and you're going to pull one leg up towards your chest. So two options here. You can either have your leg pulled in like this, which is my preference because I feel like it's easier. The other option is to uh, cross your ankle over your opposite leg. That actually provides a little bit more stability, and it makes it to where you don't have to use the hip flexors of this non-working leg in order to keep the leg up. So two options there, but this does limit your range of motion just a little bit. Okay, so once you're all set up as far as your feet, make sure that this working leg, your foot shouldn't be too far away because then you'll be working on your hamstrings, but it also shouldn't be too close because you'll only be working your quads. So a little bit of space here. When you lift, your um, shin should be just about perpendicular with the floor. That's going to be the feeling there. Okay, so legs are all set up. Um, and now in order to make sure that your hips or your glutes are doing the majority of the work, you want to keep your upper arms pressed down into the floor. That way you have lots of contraction going on in the abs. Your rib cage should be held down um, throughout this exercise. You shouldn't lift and then flare your rib cage and turn your hips and all that stuff. You don't want that. Instead, you want this downward feeling with your rib cage. Belly's nice and tight. This allows your hips to tuck under. And as you press, you'll start to feel like I'm not lifted very high, but my glutes are pretty much doing the majority of the work here. So this is not optimal. This right here is optimal. Like I said, you're gonna feel like you don't have a lot of range of motion, but that's totally okay. The point of the exercise is to work the glutes. So now eventually as you get used to this position, you'll be able to keep the glutes contracted throughout the exercise. And even though the repetitions are pretty fast, your glutes will definitely feel it. I'd encourage you to start with your weaker side first and then move over to your stronger side.